On to you Libras out there. Hope y'all are having a great day. So for you Libras, you have the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and you have the Three of Wands. Please make sure to give this video a like. Let's make sure to get this video to 100 likes so that that way we can uh, definitely have this video hit the algorithm, right? So we can continue to blow up here, right? On YouTube, you want me to e uh, elevate, right? Uh, so for you Libras, a lot of you Libras are really in a situation where um, a lot of you are overthinking about your past a little bit too much. The Nine of Pentacles represents you've already have made the proper ne the, the necessary changes for you in the way that you think. A lot of you Libras have, been, have you were engaging in certain habits that you realize is not really good for you. And you had since then stopped engaging in those habits. So you don't, you do not do those habits anymore particularly just with everything in general, the way that you associate with others, the quality of the people that you've been around, um, the quality of the people that you keep in your life, uh, what it is that you do for a living. A lot of you Libras have had the time to really sit back and you, and you have sat back and really paid attention to what it is that you've been doing. And a lot of you Libras understand that obviously certain things need to have changed. And you know exactly where it is that you Libras need to change those certain things. There's a link in the comment section below called a link tree link. Click on it, it will redirect you to a website which has all the ways to be able to financially support the show. Just so I can most definitely keep the, sh uh, the, uh, the channel going. I produce uh, tarot card readings, right? Private tarot readings, birth chart readings. I also help you learn to do the tarot yourself, as well as I have tons of, I have like three different books that are on Amazon. Go ahead, check those out. So the Nine of Swords represents, see, this is why it is that I say you kind of worry because the Nine of Swords represents you really ruminating, thinking about whether you're good enough. You know, you're taking you're you're taking a nervous page out of Virgo's playbook, and you're being very nervous about whether you've actually done enough to really make a real serious change in your life, or is it something that's short term? A lot of you Libras want to make a long term change, and a lot of you are very much so nervous about this. And what it is that I'm here to tell you, Libras, is to not be so nervous about whether or not you're making a long-term or short-term change. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, what I'm learning to do, right, myself, is to change habits. See, a lot of times, what it, because I, I, I kind of have an idea of what it is that you're going through. You Libras are setting goals. You're setting goals to the point of like, you're trying to, the goal is to change who you are, right? Instead of looking at instead of looking at the goals like the goals are actually the goals naturally come about from setting from actually looking at your own behavioral patterns like what do you do every single day what do you actually spend your time doing what are your habits for me i know i know what it is that that i do my habits is i wake up i go ahead and make a couple of youtube videos right one or two maybe even more Right. Then a, a bunch of, you know, red pill content, you know, I hope YouTube don't hit me for that, but a bunch of red pill content, you know what I mean? And then and then I'm kind of like, you know, upset about certain things for the rest of the day. But now I'm slowly but surely, you know, taking myself off of that more, 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 you know what I mean? Spending more time with the family or, or just, you know, making more videos or doing whatever it is I'm doing. I'm changing my habits up. And as a result, right, the goal, right, the goals are coming because now I'm able to kind of cut certain things that I consume, right, from social media out of my day. I've been essentially able to actually pay attention to what I want to do now because now I have whole time slots that are available, an hour, 30 minutes, two hours. Now I'm thinking to myself, wow, like, I didn't realize I had all this time. What do I what do I want to do that's constructive, that's productive? 
you know, whether it's lay down and rest, whether it's learn something new. So it's the same thing for you Libras. You Libras are paying attention, if you ask me, to the wrong things. A lot of the times, that's the majority of what most people are thinking about is goals. They're thinking about like, like a basically a goal because once you reach a goal, and this is something that I was learning myself, once you Libras have reached a goal, now you've reached it, what happens? Now it's like there's nowhere to go but down because you set aside this point in your life where reaching this point was so important, whatever the goal was. Then when you actually reach there, now it's like now you don't have any reason to exist anymore. No, what you want to do is you want to create habits. You want to be able to continue with the habits, the habits is what is is what happens where not only do you get what it is that you want right but you're actually able to 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 keep the motor going keep you you know keep the function going you you keep doing it it that's that's what creates long-term sustained change so the thing is that the three of wands represents so you have to learn that it's not about the goals that you are setting you want to change your life. You want to stop being able to. You want to stop hanging out with people that aren't trustworthy. You want your. You want the group that you are in to actually be able to be trustworthy. People who are strong, stronger compared to the people at the very least that you used to hang around. You want a real long, strong term commitment. Commitment with somebody. Okay. Well, you. Well, well your habits have to change. Do you do you allow people to be in your life long past since the date that you should really have stopped talking to them? You you come to the realization that you need to stop talking to them. You need to excommunicate them from your life. Are you actually doing that now that you've made the realization, now that you've made the switch towards paying attention to this person's overall value? And should this person be in your life? as a friend or even as a romantic interest, what do you actively do about it? See, as adults, we spend way too much time thinking about things in a passive way when we should really be thinking about things in a more interactive way. We're not just, we're not just active and not thinking, we're not just passive and not doing anything, we're interacting, we're doing both. We're watching and then once we watch, we assess, we know what's going on, or we there's sometimes where we need to act and think later. But we're but we're learning as we go along and we're studying and we're figuring it out as time goes by. Same thing when it comes to love. The three of wands represents the choices that we all make. And the thing about it is that the four of swords and the fool card now. The Four of Swords represents this is what it is that about you that needs to essentially be done away with. You Libras are overthinking it and you're thinking about goals. Get rid of the goal thinking and just think about the habits that you are developing in your life. The Fool now represents how it is that for you, you have to learn to essentially, and you are starting over. I'm just helping you do it but you are starting over and that 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 do over and and the 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 means to start over is what's going to help you look the 5 of pentacles and the 8 of pentacles represents how a lot of you libras so the next time okay so the next time you see people that you're interacting with you're paying attention to how they actually receive your love and your attention so in other words this kind of represents, how do I say, this kind of represents the choices that other people make. It's kind of hard to explain, right, without getting into some sci-fi type stuff. But in other words, it, it represents how people reject the love and the tokens of appreciation that you give to them, are they appreciative of it? Are they grateful of it? Versus if those people are ungrateful because they're dysfunctional. And that and that the only type of inner the only type of 
interactions that they will ever actually be able to succeed in, quote unquote, or not even succeed, but half succeed in our, our dysfunctional relationships, you're, this is what the cards represent. It represents a juxtaposition. The five of pentacles, right? Let me show it to you together. Now, the person on the card who's doing the offering is you, but the person on the cards or the card who is doing the receiving or who would be doing the receiving are your romantic interests and or your friends and family, right? So now it's like, like I said, it's the juxtaposition. The five of pentacles represents, would they, would they, would they not, would they not be appreciated? I'm look, I'm paying attention to see if a package comes, but, um, or I'm listening out, but, um, would they, not be appreciative of the love and the attention that you're giving them right because love is way more than just like i said science of love love is way more than just about have, having somebody just tell you the words love is about community as well your friends your family your romantic interests your overall community is your overall community a lot? Of, like I said before, when I when I see these comments, you know, what I'm saying? when I see these comments, these people who talk about, you know what I mean, stop talking about relationships and stuff like this or whatnot, X, Y, Z. It's like, first off, you can't tell me what what to what to talk about, and second of all, that just goes to show me that you you hard headed because. Love has way more to do. When I say the science of love, most people don't know about love because love has way more to do than only romantic interest. There's your family, there's your friends, there's your romantic interest, there's loving the environment, right? Right? Even if you don't have anybody around you, do you if you have animals, pets, right? Plants, plant life. You know what I'm saying? Do you do you give love to them? Do they give love to you back by growing, staying alive? Because that's another thing too, spiritually. Like how how long a dog or an animal stays alive, right, can sometimes defy the laws, or, or I should say not the laws, but it can sometimes defy the longevity of how long animals usually stay alive for. You understand what I'm saying? And part of the reason why is because that animal, regardless of whether you believe it or not, spiritually is is it has a connection to you. So that animal represents a part of you now and you are a part of it. That's how joined the two of you actually are. So whenever it is that you see like animals living 10, 15, 20, 25 years, you know what I'm saying? To you, 25, you still in your 20s, you know, you're still young. But then when you see an animal living 10, 15, 20, 25 years, it's like that's a long time for them because it shows you spiritually how the two of you are connected. But it also shows how the how the working dynamic between the two of you are. The relationship that the two of you have is not just based upon whatever. That's proof that the love exists because... The two of you actually have a spiritual connection with one another. And that's what it is that I'm talking about. And then you have the eight of pentacles, right? So will, so will they reject it because they're dysfunctional? Or will they accept it and be grateful of it and see you as someone that is a contributing member to society and more so specifically to their life? You know, the ten of pentacles represents because you have a lot, you Libras have a lot to give. It's not like you Libras are, are are not willing to give. It's just that what blocked you Libras in the past was your mentality about the whole thing. The idea that y'all, you know, y'all as air signs were too wild for your own good. And now you Libras feel like it's your time to actually start living the way that you always wanted to but you felt like you had to guard your heart and act like you tough and you gangster and all of this in order to get and then the thing is that the three of pentacles and the ten of swords now is about how because the situation for you is the three of pentacles you have people who care about you you libras have people who care about you 
but you but see why not care about them back you have family members that care about you you have friends that care about you you should care about you if no one else right and that's what the three of pentacles represents you, your community people that that you know three of pentacles this doesn't represent like things being off balance that not necessarily Sometimes the three of pentacles can represent the community, the community that actually cares about you and loves you, that I, that actually has known you for a pretty long time. And the ten of swords represents just that. The ten of swords is, but you're, but like I said, what caused, what stopped you, Libras, in the past from making certain changes that you used to think about whether you're on the correct path for you is your mentality you thought that at one point if you didn't act like this people wouldn't give you respect and that's not true so let's clarify the fool so i hope you libras really understand that you know people really do love you but you are on the verge of making a long-term change you have to think about your habits instead of your goals So to clarify the fool, you have the Six of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Like I said, that community again. So the Six of Pentacles and the Four of Swords, right, you haven't met anyone. You, I ain't gonna say anyone, but you haven't met. Let me be more accurate. You Libras have been hanging around others talking about your social group i.e your friends and romantic interests that didn't have your best interest in mind and that's why it seemed like no one cared about you but that's not really what happened right the page of swords they would they would just because they would be hanging out with you you would think that they cared about you until you libra started to wake up and realize that that's not really so so the Six of Wands and the Three of Pentacles now represent, so you Libras have finally figured it out that it's about the part of it, because we have other elements, we going down the rabbit hole, part of it is about the community that you create or that you have, or both. You have people around you, friends and family that care about you. You know, it's just that you Libras were hanging around some knuckleheads, friends, right? Maybe even knuckleheaded family members. We all have knuckleheaded family members, including myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, cousins, knuckleheads, and stuff like this. And also the knuckleheaded uh, romantic interest that you have. So this is just the things that you leaders have to change that you're going to have to work on. That's your assignment for this week. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe.